Okay, this match in progress. Javier Vera now is uh, playing Carlos Cruz. And he's winning, uh, oh no, he's behind 16, 13, 14 now with that billiard. Senior Vera has a good opportunity here to um, tie with wins with Pedro Piedra Buena. He has three wins, one loss. Pedro has four wins. One loss. <laughs> Harry Pena just defeated uh, Luis Avega. Ecuadorian champion, the Colombian player f from New York, living in New York, defeated Luis Avega 32-11. Score here is 18-16, Vera. So Javier Vera takes the lead on uh, Senior Carlos Cruz, who's been playing very well in this event. He's kind of like our dark horse. Do you know much about Carlos Cruz? Uh, yeah, Carlos is uh, he's a good player. He's like in the between 800 and 900 average. Yes. Zero, 08, zero, 09. Very solid, very strong player. And uh, he's been around. He, he plays at Million Dollar Videos, Hector's Ocampo's room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, now he's playing Vera, he's a very strong player. Mm -hmm. They're playing a close game. Yes, Vera just ran four, so he took the lead against uh, Cruz. This is a good match for Vera too, because he, well, it's an important match because he has three wins and one loss. He has a chance to catch up with Pedro's record for four and one. Yeah, he, he, I think he, he has the edge, but you still, you don't, you never know in three cushion. Oh, it's like I said, you know, this, this gentleman, Carlos Cruz, is, is, has an excellent uh, showing for this tournament. Yeah, we used to practice together at the Korea Town seven, eight years ago mm. on Vermont and Third. Okay. Uh, and uh, he used to be there every day. He's a good player, so and he can win this game, so there is no doubt about it. Sure. It's nice to see underdogs do well, you know. Yeah, especially when you have a difficult table, so the top players lose a little bit of confidence. Mm -hmm. And the average player can still play their games and can play a little bit better. Mm -hmm. So now they can put more pressure on the better player, you know. And these are like important factors. You know, he beat Palafox last night. Palafox is a very strong player. He beat him, and mm -hmm. uh, now he can still beat uh, any player in the next round or two. So we'll find out. And speaking of uh, Palafox, he was the only player to beat Javier Vera in the finals. Yeah, he beat him 32 13 yesterday in a quick, quick game. And Vera didn't play well at all. Palafox and Caranco are playing right now. It's uh, 21 to 14. Palafox leads. In a, in a round uh, robin format, you are allowed only one bad game, <laughs> not two. Two, 
That means you're jeopardizing the semi-final. Yes. And it's going to go into win and losses and points, and especially when you lose by big margin. Mm -hmm. It's going to be tight. So you don't want to go there usually. You, I mean, nobody has control, you know, just... Vera is not playing his best game here. Vera plays for the whole year around 1.4 average. If you guys watch YouTube, last year he won a lot of tournament in Mexico. A lot. So... And again, we're playing 30-point games, so it's not like a long race no. to 40 or to 50, for example. I'm happy for, for Carlos Cruz. I'm happy for him. So. Little bit long, huh? Five rails. Well, he missed the kiss, missed the billiard, right? Yeah, but uh, but against <laughs> against the uh, top players, you cannot miss so many shots. You know, mm -hmm. this was makeable shot. Mm. But again, it's hard to. Again, we're sitting here talking about shot, but now he left him like three ra three rails, which, which is at his level, he should make it. And maybe get a position after it. Now he's gonna open the game. It depends how is the hit on the third ball. Yeah, this is nice. He has another five rails or four. By the way, Javier Vera was Geraldine's favorite to win this tournament. Look how long it is. Yeah. It's not really long. Just to give the viewers a little bit uh, background about the equipment here. Somebody before the tournament uh, put the silicone on the cloth. And now they try to, the table start playing like one and a half to two diamonds long. And now it's still not normal. The point is that silicone came between the cloth and the slate. And now every time that they, that they play longer within the game, the ball runs longer. Yes, even longer. <laughs> you know? Trust me, uh, few the tables are really, really hard to play on. Are you... Do you know if... Uh this was just an error, an oversight. No, somebody just asked, told the owner, "I cleaned the table for you," and he put silicone on it. Yeah, now it's yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't put silicone on a Royal Pro cloth because Royal Pro cloth is already very fast cloth. More and synthetic, yeah. And long too, so. Yeah. So it was a mistake from. From the technician. Technician and the, the owner too. You shouldn't touch the tables. Very close shot for the foul. So he has to hit really thin. Ooh. He fouled it actually. Very close game. 20-20. and uh, Vera doesn't have the easiest position but it's makeable shot he needs this win he's just debating which way to go the white has a kiss and even if you miss the kiss you might not make the billiard so and if you play off the red 
not easy position you're gonna open up the game completely what a beautiful hit he is, yeah huh? yeah there is a kiss but he's gonna miss the kiss a little bit he needed a good luck huh he got a little lucky oh. but still still a good hit He wants to double the rail off the red. Uh, no, he's gonna go I'm sorry, long. he's playing yeah, the reverse. Mm -hmm. yeah, beautiful. Yeah, very good shot selection he has. So that's the difference between 1.4 player and mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 900 average player. So they make better choices. And they have a better technique, of course. So they know more. <laughs> Very nice shot, three three rails. Land off. Now he's putting some run together. He really is. Yeah. many options here he's in the middle of white and red so he can go either way three rails he's trying to score and try to miss the piss when you don't have confidence you can miss the shot really like really bad short you know but now he missed it short huh yeah he did but not really bad <laughs> Well, bad for them, it's just when you miss it sure, by nothing, and, sure. and bad for us when you miss it by a mile. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> but he's protecting the game, so now Carlos has a bank. I don't know if he can reach a Tiki, or there is a Tiki, but he's looking into a bank in this mall, but this shot is really hard. You have to be very precise. The red, the white is so far out. Yeah, he's looking to bank it. We'll find out what he's gonna come up with. He's trying to play on the right side of the table with a flat angle. He's doing the math. So he's gonna try to play maybe short trail, long, red, and another time the short trail. You have to hit like quarter ball. If you hit too much ball, you miss, and you hit. Most of the time when I play it, I miss the ball completely. Mm. He hit a lot of ball. A lot. He didn't have a good angle on it, so. Now, open sesame. <laughs> open the door. Yep. Short angle, left side. Not a lot of English. A lot of English make it makes it short. He missed it completely, huh? Ah, it was very close. It was an easy shot. Now he's uh, giving a chance to. Yeah, he's giving big chance to Carlos. Yeah. But Carlos, he's not having like the easiest shot right now. If you hit off the yellow, you have a kiss. And if you want to miss the kiss, you might go in and out in the corner. He missed the kiss. But I he think might he's go got in and out in the corner. Oh, it did shorten up, didn't it? Yeah, for sure. Ooh, that backed up very short. Thanks to the silicon. Thanks. <laughs> silicon Valley. The Silicon Valley. <laughs> <laughs> Now he's gonna 
play. We have silicone in Beverly Hills, and we have it in Huntington Park as well. Yep. <laughs> now this is a nice shot. Oh, that's beautiful. I don't uh -oh. think he's gonna make it. Maybe too much. Yeah, he's wow. he missed. He missed like two. This was a difficult shot, not easy, but two big holes. <coughs> He left him a shot of the red, three rails on the left side, three cushion, long short long. Try to hit a little bit more red, if you hit less red you might get the kiss I think. Yeah, hit a lot of red and try to make the billiard. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect shot. Now he has a shot of the red again, three rails or five. The yellow is sitting in a nice spot. So even if you miss it three rails, you can go five rails and still make the bigger. But again, control the piece perfectly, played it three. Just right on the ball. And that's how we miss. There is no kiss. Very good. So now 25 to 21. In favor of Vera. And uh, Pala Fox is uh, one point away from uh, his finish line. 29 to 19 against Ricky Caranco. This shot is very, very difficult shot. But he's gonna play long, long, short, reverse. And that's the problem. Mm. Carlos needs to put like a run of four or five. Something. So yeah. we can have a chance, huh? Mm -hmm. Only for Carlos. Cuatro, per favor. <laughs> Cuatro tacos. No, no, no. Cuatro. <laughs> Billiardos. This is nice. This is one. Uh-oh. Oh, he hit the red. Kissed out. Uh, when, when usually, like, the underdog yeah. miss these kind of shots mm -hmm. at this point of the game. Mm -hmm. You know it's over. You have no chance in general. Yes, in general. In general, you have no chance to win the game anymore. You know? Same like you're playing pool against top player and mm -hmm. you miss an easy shot and now you leave him open table so you know he got lucky huh mm. no he played a good he played a good shot I saw him like he raised his hand and he said like because he missed the kiss that's why yeah. he missed the kiss the close. kiss was coming yes but he got there in time yeah. sometimes we hit the billiard bad and we still make it so three cushion has a lot of Forgiveness sometimes. You don't have to be really, really accurate all the time, like pool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sometimes you miss. You can hit the ball, quarter ball or half a ball, and still make the shot. Yeah, yeah. In pool, if you hit a quarter ball instead of half a ball, you go sit on your chair. So. Well, because the pocket is smaller, you know. Yeah, sure. left him with the bank, there is a plus two chance, he's looking at it, but I don't know how he's gonna reach it, right handed you can reach it, but it's not comfortable, you have to really stretch with the long bridge, they were playing long, so you might go in the middle, yeah, long, yep. Now he left him three rails. 
of the red. Half a ball. Center English. Beautiful. Nice. 26, 27 to 21, so he needs three more. Three more and... This with the rent. Wow, he mean just barely missed the piss. Mm. I told you when you when you make mistakes against top players, you pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> and now he's paying for it. I think he needs one or two, two more. This is very makeable shot too for Vera. Nice. Mm. And now one more. You know, guys, I let just commentating on three, four games in less than an hour. Yeah, it hasn't been long. Yeah, I mean, especially when Pedro finished the game in 11 in innings. In 11 innings. 2.75 average. Yeah, well, that's a treat for us to see. That type of uh, that type of average here. Yeah, yeah. it's possible. So twenty-nine to twenty-one. Especially now, Daniel, when you're at this point of the game, mm -hmm. there is important for him to win. So he's four and one. Pedro is four and one. Mm -hmm. So now you can have more confidence for the next game. Absolutely. If you lose the game, the next game is going to be more pressure on you. Yes, and you're not you're not waiting for your, you know, you're not waiting for your counterpart to lose a match either. That's right. You don't have to worry about that. You have won, so why worry about what your part, you know, Correct. your counterpart is going to do? You're absolutely right. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does build more confidence. Yeah. The more you win, the better you're just going to feel about it in general. Yeah. Can you imagine how Pedro feels after two sessions today? Oh, yeah. When he started his day off with Luis Avega undefeated and uh, Pedro with already one loss, he probably did not feel <laughs> as uh, confident as he might feel now. Especially Avega, he has like two losses back to back. Now, yes, yes. You know uh, Avega's not, not had a good day. Yeah, but meanwhile, Javier's having a, a better day today. And um, we, uh, we've concluded also all matches on the tables. Uh, Palafox defeats Ricky Caranco 30 to 21. And so that is the end of this round, the fifth round of the finals, or is it six? No, the fifth round. They, they just fifth round. Do the yeah. sixth, so we have two more rounds to go, and um, and then we'll uh, find out who's in first place. But it's uh, so far, it's uh, Javier Vera, Pedro Piedra Buena, um, are kind of neck and neck right now for first place. Uh, we're going to show you guys a, a chart right after this uh, in, in in a couple of minutes. I want to thank Gil Najem for for uh, stopping in with us to do some commentary. We really, really appreciate all of the education you give us and, uh, you know. Well, I just try to do my best. Uh, thanks for having me and this is a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. So thank we you have, so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The honor is all ours and, um, um, you know, we look forward to seeing you again soon at the Elks Lodge. Thanks to Gil Najem. All right, and thanks to all of you folks. We're going to be right back, folks right back uh don't go anywhere uh because we have two more rounds to go today and then we'll do a trophy presentation you're watching the tiger silver cup at silver q in huntington park you can like them on facebook and you can like silver q on instagram uh, thanks a lot everybody we'll be right back <laughs>